You are listening to Sacred Heart of Jesus Radio, a ministry of the Order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Hello everyone and welcome to today's morning prayer. We begin by saying, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we thank you for watching over us last night and for bringing us safely to this day. Sacred Heart of Jesus, you are worthy of all things and praise. Have mercy on us. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we offer this day to you. Fill our hearts with humbleness, compassion, mercifulness, and love, O Sacred Heart, O Lord. May all hearts be united to your Sacred Heart. Grant that we may be transformed into your image, O living bread from heaven. Lord Jesus Christ, make and humble you down on the cross for us. Yet aware of your great sacrifice, we have continued to sin against you. Your sacred heart has shown us perfection. You have given us all your love, but we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not followed your example. When your sacred heart invited us to love our neighbors and our enemies as we love ourselves, we turned and walked away. When you gave us the opportunity to be merciful and forgive those who have hurt us, we often closed our hearts instead. We prostrate ourselves before your throne and implore that you forgive our sins. Purify our hearts so that we may perfectly and worthily love and magnify your sacred heart. Amen. Sacred Hearts of Jesus, we do always and everywhere give you thanks and praise. For you are holy, holy, Holy Lord, you are indeed the fountain of all goodness. We thank you for the immeasurable stream of mercy that pours out freely from you, our adorable heart. We rejoice at knowing that your forgiveness and compassion are constantly manifested in our life because of your unending grace. Let all who acknowledge you King of Kings praise you and thank you day and night. We now take this moment to bring to mind the needs of the Christian Church. We especially pray for our persecuted brothers and sisters who suffer at the hands of those who hate Jesus. We pray, Lord, that you send your Holy Spirit to descend upon them and that your Holy Spirit will strengthen them in all goodness, that your Holy Spirit will fill their hearts with joy, with contentment, with hope, with faith, and a great love, a love so great that they will be able to love even those who persecute them. And we pray for those who persecute your people, that just as you change the heart of so many people in the church throughout the years, that you will be able to transform their hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that they, their eyes may be opened, and that they may become your followers. And Jesus, we pray for all bishops, especially Archbishop Ross and Bishop Hampton. We pray for all the apostles, priests, missionaries, deacons, religious, and all people. Lord, we pray for Christine who is currently taking a test. We pray, Lord, she study as hard as she could with the amount of time that she had and with the energy that she had left from uh, studying for all her other classes and doing all, her, all the other work that her uh, current schedule allows her. Uh, you gifted her with a, with a pretty good brain. But she's aware of, and I'm aware of, that without you, 
nothing can be accomplished. That without you, nothing is possible. But rather that all things through you are possible. And so she comes before you and I come before you too, Lord. And we pray that you will help Christine as she takes this exam today. That the questions uh, will be clear to her. And that not only will the questions be clear, that she will know the answer to the questions. And be able to, to write the answers and do extremely well on this exam. She did good on the last one for this class, but she needs to do better. Um, and with your help, all things are possible. She will do really good. We also pray for Jennifer, who is taking the same test also. And we pray for Avery and for uh, Olivia and uh, also for Hong. Have mercy on them and help them also, Jesus. These are very talented young people. And they work very hard and um, hopefully the work will pay off also. I want to pray for Rebecca, who has a, a chemistry test on Friday. Chemistry class is very difficult. Um, and uh, we pray that she will be able to do extremely well, that you will supernaturally gift her, O oh Lord in a way that she will be able to answer these questions on this test right and bring her grade up. Uh, right now, she's needing a, a lot of your help. I want to also pray for Saivet, who is also a college student, and for Luisito, who is in college also, and um, Andrew, Andrew James, who is attending college. Bless all of these young men and women who work very hard and do everything they can to succeed in school and help them reach their goals. Be with them every step of their way. And more importantly, Lord, be in their hearts in, their hearts in such a way that the ways of the world would not corrupt their hearts, but rather that they, with purity of heart, seek out to do your will and seek out to follow your will. And Lord, we pray for all those who are sick, especially those who suffer from cancer, lupus, autoimmune diseases, mental health problems. Multiple sclerosis. Drug addiction. Or any other form of addiction. Diabetes. We also pray for grieving families. We pray for the homeless, the poor, the unemployed, and the oppressed. And we also pray an end to domestic violence, an end to the abuse of women and children, and an end to abortion. We also bring to you, Lord, the special intentions for the order of the sacred heart of Jesus. Lord, we pray that when we come together for prayer, we may pray in the Spirit at all times, in every prayer and supplication. Merciful Father, without your Holy Spirit, we are nothing but emptiness and confusion. Let us be filled with the Holy Spirit so that we may be inspired to pray according to your will and purpose. Gracious Father, as you fill us with your Holy Spirit, let the manifestation of the Spirit be given to us. Grant us a message of wisdom. Grant us a message of knowledge. Increase our faith. Bless us with the gifts of healing. Give us miraculous powers. Give us the gift of prophecy, the gift of distinguishing between spirits, the gift of speaking in different kinds of tongues, and the gift of interpretation of tongues. But more importantly, Lord, bless us with the gift of love, all according to your will and for the glory of your holy name. Lord Christ, in your mercy you have called us to serve you. We pray that you will guide us and inspire us 
by the Holy Spirit, so that when we speak, a message may be given to us to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel. Heavenly Father, we live in a time when the world attempts to contaminate every aspect of our life with contradictions to your word. Help us to be strong in you, God, and to rely on your power. Put your armor on us, God, so that we may be able to stand against the tricks of the devil. Christ Jesus, many refuse to hear your holy message and are being deceived by the enemy. The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. We pray according to your will that you send out workers into your harvest field, that upon hearing your gospel, many will repent, be baptized, and be saved by your unending grace. King of Peace, as you ask, whom shall I send to proclaim your message of salvation into the world? Here am I. Send me. Look kindly upon you. Servants gather here today and use each of us according to your gifts as ambassadors of your holy message here in our cities and around the world. Lord God, Heavenly King, revive us and we will call on your name. Restore us, O Lord. God Almighty, make your face shine upon us that we may be saved. Bring a revival to each one of us, that from all revival, many will come to hear and accept the good news of salvation. And now, as the Lord Jesus Christ has taught us, we are bold to sing. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O sacred heart of Jesus, to you I consecrate and offer up my person and my life, my actions, trials, and sufferings, that my entire being may henceforth only be employed in loving honoring and glorifying you. This is my irrevocable will to belong entirely to you and to do all for your love, renouncing with my whole heart all that can displease you. I take you, O sacred heart, for the sole object of my love, the protection of my life, the pledge of my salvation, the remedy of my frailty and inconstancy, the reparation for all the defects of my life, and my secure refuge at the hour of my death. I pray that you, O most merciful heart, be my justification before God, your Father, and screen me from his anger, which I have so justly merited. I fear all from my own weakness and malice, but placing my entire confidence in you, O heart of love, I hope all from your infinite goodness, annihilate in me all that can displease or resist you, imprint in me your pure love so deeply in my heart, that I may never forget you or be separated from you. I beg you through your infinite goodness, grant that my name be engraved upon your heart, for in this I place all my happiness and all my glory to live and to die as one of your devoted servants. Amen. This concludes today's uh, morning prayer. I'm glad you were able to tune in and pray with us today. I hope that you will join us later on today when we do afternoon prayer and then evening prayer. And that you join us on a daily basis as we do these prayers every day. If you would like to get a copy of this prayer and any of the prayers that we do here, as a matter of fact, I encourage you to come by our website at Sacred Hearts Jesus dot org and go to the contact us form and use that form to request a copy of the daily prayers for the sacred 